Hi, uh, today I'm going to try to show you how to use the mole view software and construct a glucose molecule which looks similar to this. Um, before we get into that, I just like briefly go through the glucose molecule. You start with an oxygen, uh, the carbon 1, it's a cyclic structure, carbon 1, carbon 2, carbon 3, carbon 4, carbon 5 that joins up to the oxygens hence cyclic but this carbon the fifth carbon has another carbon attached on the top CH2OH so keep in mind the carbon 1 2 and the 3 4 5 positions uh, the, the third position of the carbon has the OH on the top and the H below this is important for you to understand uh, hence H on top OH below uh, this becomes that this structure is a functional the functional group is an aldehyde and hence glucose is a reducing sugar uh, so let's get on with the actual uh, drawing of this structure on mole view cup mole view close this this is a default structure close it and let's select the structure um, this is oxygen so remember carbon 1 it had a H on the top and the OH below so let's start with that Uh, carbon comes up by default so we got to make sure that you got to change it and accordingly selecting O oxygen take a single bond So this is on the top, this is below. Um, sometimes they they use what is called as a hash bond to indicate this moving below or away from the carbon. So this indicates it like that way. Uh, let's take this carbon. Here we go. Again, this hash bond shows it to be moving away or below as what we've seen. So the carbon 2 had an OH. We're going to change that to an O, pick up a single bond and then each in the third one if you notice the OH was on the top so now we take what is called as a wedge bond indicating it's on the top
So by clicking this double, it, the software reads CH2. We know this is um, is on the top. So I'm just making that into a wedge bond, and this has to be an OH. So I'm going to change this to an oxygen single bond hydrogen. So let's ca count C6, H12, O6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 carbons. Hydrogen 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Let's count the oxygens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we are all good. Uh, the, the good feature in this software is this brush. If you clean cleans up the structure and it gives us uh, what it should be so I'm going to change this if you recall to the carbon being on the top and so that's how it will look H on the top carbon 1 OH below H on the top OH below OH on the top third carbon H below fourth H on the top OH below fifth carbon attached to a carbon on the top CH2OH so um, more or less this is a structure the other feature of this software is convert this to 2D to 3D and you get a, a nice image over here it was 0 carbon 1 H on top OH below carbon 2 H on top OH below carbon 3 OH on the top H below carbon 4 HOH carbon 5 to carbon CH2 OH so looks like we've got this structure correct um, now if you want to save this and send it off you could also uh, go to tools uh, you could uh, export the image or you could export the 3d model so assume that you're going to export this uh, let's open up and see how it works and that's what you can export and and send it to your instructor for evaluation. Bye-bye. Um,